hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today is friday and it is a pretty gloomy day i had every intention on getting out and uh, like running some errands and doing some things but the weather has just got me like Ugh, i don't want to do anything so it's gonna be a real chill vlog today um it's probably gonna be mostly at home but i did get my sephora order in and i wanted to share it with you guys um and then i just got some other little random stuff that i'll share while we're here um but the first thing i got is the tatcha lip mask and plum blossom i think this is limited edition uh, this was actually recommended to me by one of you guys. A couple of you all recommended this to me. So I'm going to give it a try. It does come with a little spatula. You guys know I love the Tatcha spatulas that they give you. And it doesn't really smell like anything. But I'm excited to try this out. This will actually be replacing my Laneige lip mask that I use in the morning after I brush my teeth and at night after I brush my teeth. That's kind of like my little lip mask that I like to do after I brush my teeth. So I'll be replacing that. I also got something new that I wanted to try. Now, I've been seeing this product all over. I am not in the know by any means. Uh, I've said this several times here. I'm kind of like late to a lot of things just because I'm not tapped into a lot of the like trendy up-to-date things and the way I kind of do my Sephora shopping is I go in and kind of filter things so I mainly focused on skincare for this sale I have no real use for any makeup like that I really wanted to like get some skincare products specifically things that I hadn't tried before and so this was something that I wanted to try that I have been seeing on Instagram and it just pops up here and there and I'm like what is this product so I got the glow recipe and I got it in this set. So I originally was just gonna get this uh, watermelon glow uh, dew drops. And then I saw that they had a set for $49. I was like, well, I might as well get the set, which is um, toner, because I think this bottle, and these are both full size bottles, by the way. I think this is like $38, $39, I think, by itself. So I was like, I might as well just get the toner, because I love a good toner anyway. So I am most excited to try this because, again, when it comes to skincare, I get super excited. I know a lot of um, people get excited about makeup. I don't get as excited about makeup as I do skincare stuff, so I'm really excited to try this out. So here is the Glow Drops. and My hands are so ashy, y'all. I'm sorry. And it just looks like this. has a nice little pump. And I have not tested this at all. That really does smell like watermelon. Wow. Wow. Like, just look at that, that little bit that I put on my hand. Look how, like, hydrated my hand looks now. Lord knows I need the hydration in my hands because they're so dry. So, I am so excited to try this I will be trying this tonight for sure and then you get the PHA and BHA pore tight toner hydrating and pore refining so I'm excited to try this out as well and honestly like the packaging is like really what got me because it's so cute and so girly but so minimal and simple at the same time and so i like most of us here i'm a sucker for packaging so i am so excited to try that maybe we'll try that out together for a nighttime skincare routine situation but again it came highly recommended 
on Sephora's website as well as everywhere else. Like people seem to really love this product specifically. So yeah, I'll definitely keep you guys up to date on how I'm liking that. And then I wanted to try a new Necessaire product. Now, I originally saw this when they launched it. If you guys don't know, I am a Necessaire partner. So when new products launch, they notify their like affiliates and partners like first before anyone else knows about it. So I saw this before it even launched and I was so intrigued and I almost bought it. But I was like, no, let me hold off. And I only held off because I wanted to kind of like see the reviews of people who've used it first before I bought it. This is something for the scalp and I wanted to make sure that it was something that I liked. Plus I had bought something else similar already, the Tracy Ellis um, scalp serum and I like it. I just don't like what it does to my hair when I use it. But I picked up the Necessaire the scalp serum. And so this is described as a daily restorative treatment for the scalp and hair. Formula features a 5% biomimetic peptide blend. It says apply daily to the scalp and it restores, hydrates, and strengthens. It has vitamin B3, vitamin B5, celery seed extract. It is a hypoallergenic, dermatologist tested, and non comedogenetic fragrance free and it is a liquid texture so I will be washing my hair this weekend so I will be applying this to my scalp tonight and over the weekend to see how I like it but yeah I am excited to try this out because I love a good serum and your scalp is part of your skincare and so it's important to take care of your scalp as well as your hair and that's one of the things I am missing with my stylist she was someone who really like focused on my scalp like she did a lot of pre-treatments before she would shampoo my hair and like so I'm really big on on like taking care of my hair you guys know that so I think this is going to be a nice addition to my hair care routine so I'm excited to try that they're vacuuming the hallway hold on y'all all right I picked up another necessaire deodorant in the eucalyptus now I didn't need another one of these because I just placed the order with necessaire like last month However, 20% off versus my 10% code. Yes, I use my own code when I purchase products from Necessaire. I figured why not get additional savings. So I went ahead and got another deodorant because I use this day and night every single day. So I go through these pretty quickly. I love this deodorant. I've used so many, so many aluminum free clean deodorants over the years. This one, hands down, is the best. The best, the best, the best. And so, yeah, if you're looking for a good, clean, aluminum-free deodorant, check out the Necessaire. Right now is a good time to get it on sale. So, yeah, I wanted to get another one of those just as a little backup. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about this cup, y'all. I have not bought one of these tumbler cups in years uh, I actually got rid of all the ones that I had uh, before we moved and so I didn't even have any and so we were in there getting our well I was getting my first holiday drink of the season because they launched the holiday drinks yesterday and so I was like so excited I was like I'm gonna wait till I get Seth from school by the way Seth made the honor roll so that was a little treat for him I'm so proud of him y'all like so 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 proud of him and so I held off uh until I picked him up because I knew that he would want to participate as well and I did see that they had the reindeer cake pop so I knew that, that was something that was something that he would like so I just decided to make a little after school outing for for us for him making the honor roll so we walk in and this 
is like on the counter and it is so bright like it was a bunch of them on the little display thing and i was like oh that's cute mind you i can't tell you how many times i go into a starbucks and i don't even pay these things any attention like i'm not even drawn to them ever and for some reason i don't know if it was because of all the christmasy stuff that was going on and it was just everything was feeling real festive i saw this and i was like oh that's cute and so i picked it up and i'm looking at it you know seeing if it's something that i want i'm like yeah i could use a little water cup just you know around the house every day blah 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 that's the only reason i picked this up right and so a group of uh, girls come in and they're like bum rushing this rack with these and it was like pink ones and you know other little holiday stuff and they're taking pictures and I'm like what is going on and so we get to the counter I'll order my drink order Seth a little hot chocolate he get his little reindeer you know we get our drinks he wants to take a picture so I was like okay I'll take a picture for Instagram so we're doing our thing and these girls are just going crazy right and so when I post my picture on Instagram, obviously I'm starting to scroll. I hadn't been on Instagram all day. Like I was off and on on there doing stuff like in my DMs responding and stuff, but I wasn't like actively on there like scrolling. And for some reason, when I posted that picture, my cup was kind of like, I had stuck, cause the guy was like, do you want a bag? I was like, no. So I just stuck it in a stroller cup holder. And I was taking the picture of Sefton, taking a picture of his, stuff that was like the focus <laughs> and people start commenting on my cup and so my friend Cleanne was like oh you got your cup and I'm like yeah I you know I'm going through my stories I was like yeah I see that you just load it up and then I start seeing more people posting about this cup and I'm like this is a thing I didn't know that this cup was a thing y'all like I literally just got it because I thought it was super cute but obviously it's like rare you can't find it everybody's like bum rushing Starbucks to get them uh I had no clue and I am someone who is out of the loop I'm not on TikTok I'm not like unless it is brought to me I do not know about it most times I am getting DMs from fellow friends, fellow YouTuber friends, fellow Instagram friends. You guys keep me in the know because your girl be, I, I literally be in a bubble, y'all. Like, I, it may not seem like it or maybe it does. I have created a bubble <laughs> and I, I live in this little bubble with my babies, with my man my family it's a little bubble with just us you know and so anything outside of that i am oblivious to you know what i mean like i'm by no means am i naive but i've just kind of i've created this bubble over the years you know just as a protector for myself and so things like this like hype up things I really don't know about until I either see it on Instagram or you guys notify me of it so please don't think that I'm someone who's like up on the latest this is that and the other now there are some things that I you know things that I'm passionate about and that I really enjoy that I am up on like the holiday drinks I, I knew when they were going to be releasing the holiday drinks obviously because I'm a Starbucks addict so that was a given so I had seen all that stuff but I had no clue about this tumbler so child I didn't got this rare tumbler <laughs> because I just wanted a cute water tumbler for around the house and y'all don't let me know that this is something rare that it's hard to get so I'm happy to have it and it's super super cute and just very you know nice <laughs> so I wanted to share that because that was funny I I had no clue and speaking of fellow friends here my girl Sharika B shout out to Sharika now she's someone that's in the know okay if y'all want to be up on all the vibes 
follow Sharika, okay? Anyway, she sent me a DM of a reel or a TikTok. And she said she saw this and it reminded her of PJ. And I could not agree more. It was a pair of dupe Ugh Tasmans for babies at Target. I responded so fast and was like, oh my God, I'm ordering these for him right now. But to my surprise, it's a thing. And they're sold out everywhere. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm in Chicago. It's it's a million targets around here. One of these targets gotta have them. Nope. Nope, not a one. Not a one. So I'm like, okay, they come in two colors, gray and tan, or like cognac. I could not find them in the cognac suede color that I really wanted. However, online they had the gray ones and I was like well I'm just getting them the gray because he has to have these of course they're too cute and pretty much everything in his wardrobe is gray or gray related so they'll work but I'm still on a hunt for those cognac ones actually on the wait list with Target so I check the site every single day to see if they're in stock but how cute are these y'all I even got my mom on the lookout for them I told her I said if you go into Target and you see these in this color the tan color, please get those for your grandson size 7 yes I got these for him and they look so cute on his feet so 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 cute I was like how cute would these be with like some little socks and his little pajamas because he's always in pajamas because he doesn't go anywhere he's home with me all day so you know we do pajamas and when he goes somewhere I put him on clothes but for the most part PJ's in pajamas sorry guys this is city living. I've gotten used to it now, but you hear that about 20 times a day. So just excuse that. But anyway, I got these for him and they're so cute. So, so, so cute. Like how cute are these? Well, I was not even interested in the Tasman Uggs, but now that I see these for him, I kind of want some for myself. But I would probably get them in black if I were to get them for myself. But so and speaking of Uggs, I did go into Nordstrom the other day and I picked him up a new pair of shoes um, because he just needed just a new pair of like shoes that he can wear with multiple outfits. And so since I was not able to get these in a color that I wanted them in, I found these for him in the color that I like. So... I got him these. They're just like a little pair of little Ugg sneakers. Sefton actually had the same exact pair, but in black when he was around PJ's age. I wish I would have kept them. I don't know why I didn't keep them, but I got PJ a pair and they're so cute. They look so cute on his feet and they're so comfortable and so cozy. Like these are like the perfect little shoe for toddlers new walkers because they have the velcro i can't be dealing with shoestrings and stuff if you're a mom of a toddler you know the struggle this is the way to go just a little velcro easy slip on um they don't have the like sherpa lining all the way through but they are really nice and soft and comfortable inside so i got him these and again this is something that will go with everything in his wardrobe because you know it's just it's a neutral color so they'll go with everything so i just thought those were so cute for him and i love this color and i'm actually thinking about maybe getting him a black pair too but we'll see i'll see how these go but yeah so 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 cute and what else oh i also picked him up some christmas pajamas yesterday so i got him this pair it's red with reindeers and then gingerbread man woman house with some trees so cute and i got these in a size 3t so yeah will be rocking the Christmas pajamas starting this weekend. I also think that we're going to put the tree up. 
this weekend too. Um, me and PK were talking last night and we think that this right here, I'm gonna move this plant, my snake plant. And I think we're gonna put the tree right here. It's so pretty because like there's so many lights outside and I think the tree with the, the outside lights will just be so pretty at night. And so we're gonna pull the tree out this weekend and put it up. We're not gonna decorate it yet. We're just gonna put it up. That's kind of like how I like to do my Christmas decorating. I like to take my time um, leading up to Thanksgiving and then the day after Thanksgiving, we like decorate the tree. Uh, but I do want to get it out the box because I bought a new tree last year and we ended up not putting it up last year just because we weren't here for Christmas. And so, yeah, I had got it on sale actually from Wayfair. So I don't even know how it looks. It's still in a box. I have not taken it out of the box. So I hope it works out because it's too late for me to try to shop for a tree right now. Like, um, but this one is like tall and big and fluffy, I think. And it's pre-lit. I always buy pre-lit trees. It's funny because PK grew up with real trees. Like every year he said his parents would go and get a real tree. And I never grew up with real trees. Like I always had fake trees growing up. So I was like, yeah, maybe one year we'll do a real tree. But they're so messy. It's so much maintenance but his thing is yeah but after christmas you just toss it out you don't have to deal with it. i'm like yeah that's true and so yeah we're gonna get festive this weekend and put the tree up i'm trying to decide like which direction i want to go with the like color scheme you know this is our first time celebrating christmas in this new space so i'm still trying to you know get a feel for the vibe as far as the Christmas decor. Um, definitely going to be modern, but I want it to be modern with a little bit of tradition in there as well. So I've been on CB2 and Crate and Barrel like crazy, just trying to get inspo. I've been on Pinterest trying to get some inspo too, just for like modern stuff. And I'm really leaning towards the like um there's like this green that is just like so pretty it's not a kelly green it's not an army green but it's like i don't know i can't explain it let me see if i can find it here but i'm thinking green black and white maybe i don't know we'll see we'll see yeah we're excited we're so ready to like get ready for christmas and um I, we're not skipping thanksgiving by no means um but thanksgiving is going to be non-traditional for us this year uh so i'm excited about that now, i'll share more with you guys as we get closer to thanksgiving but we're still kind of like figuring out few little details um we're trying to see which direction we're leaning toward there's two different directions we can go so we're trying to figure that out but um basically i don't have to do any shopping i don't have to do any cooking slaving none of that yeah we are delegating thanksgiving this year so yeah oh i was going to cb2 cb2 PJ just woke up from his nap, by the way, if you guys hear him in there. See, like, I love this, this green, white, and black vibe. I love that. And I want to do, like, something here on the island with, like, some, some type of pine arrangement. A faux, of course. But because I'm not doing, I don't know, I may do a reef on the island, maybe, I don't know. But I want to really like make this the focal point since we don't have a fireplace. I want to kind of focus on the island because this is like the center of our living space. And so that's what I'm really like focusing on. I'm not really focusing on much of the other parts of the house, but... Obviously the tree will be there, so I kind of want things to kind of flow in this way. Uh, Cause this is where we spend 
majority of our, our time. So yeah, but I'm loving the green, white, and black situation that Crate and Barrel's got going on. It's just something about black that's just so modern and I just love it. But I don't wanna overdo it, you know? i do something like this like a cute little arrangement like that. And I actually have a vase just like that from Target. Where is it? Let me show you guys. All right, sorry about the lighting guys, but I don't know if you guys remember when I got this, but this used to be on my fireplace. So I could use this and get some Cypress stem. Ooh. Well, I'm going to have to go on Amazon and find these because I'm not paying $139. Does the vase come with it? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. The vase comes with it. So how much is just the stem? Okay. Stems are 19 So that's not bad. <laughs> so I can get some of these stems and put them in here for a little festive moment on the island I love when he wakes up he doesn't wake up like crying he just chills in his crib and just talks and babbles yeah he just babbles until one of us goes in and gets him but um yeah I'm really really thinking about using this for sure so we've got that and then I love these little black reindeers. I probably wouldn't get them from Crate and Barrel because I've seen deers like this at Target for way less. But I love this little cute setup. So that's the vibe I'm going for. Will I be able to execute it? We'll see. But just to give you guys an idea that's that's what I'm going for like, like this so cute I love that so I am going to leave this out so that I remember I have it because this was in a box and yeah so that's what we're gonna do this weekend um, obviously I'll share it with you guys all right y'all so I just got a package in the mail that I want to unbox. So as you can see, it is from Caraway. If you ever ordered anything from Caraway, you know that their packaging, <laughs> their packaging is everything. So let me just get this off. Come on, look at that. Yeah. How nice. So I got one of the new Caraway tea kettles. They just released. It's so pretty. And I definitely needed a new tea kettle because I gave mine away uh, when we moved so so cute like I love all the little details it's so cute and small let's this go okay so you lift that oh I cannot wait to make my tea tonight let's see inside just so nice so thank you Caraway I absolutely love it so pretty so pretty y'all so I will leave a link below so you guys can get your hands on it it comes in a variety of colors but it is perfect and it matches my Nespresso perfectly I went with the um, white or off-white color and 
it is a perfect match so absolutely a love cannot wait to make my tea tonight and I was just getting ready to put the box away and it says open me for a surprise so let's see what this is oh my goodness what's a pipe holder how cute this is just a little card little cute little pot holder love that it's funny because we actually need pot holders <laughs> so that's perfect Oh, I feel about you, you wish you wait. We don't really want 